Le Trou is a really uh, has a very interesting background. It's based on a real-life attempt by a group of prisoners in the jail of La Santé in Paris to, to escape uh, by digging a tunnel. Um, and Becker apparently had been fascinated by uh, the story when it um, became known through a newspaper and apparently kept a clipping of the newspaper um, uh, of that story which happened in 1947. Then a few years later, um, a writer called José Giovanni um, who would become a very famous writer of uh, crime books in France, wrote a story called Le Trou, uh, which was the story of that uh, attempted escape, in which, in fact, he had been a participant. Um, and Becker and him uh, got to know each other. And at the time, uh, Becker believed, like everybody, that Giovanni had been a member of the resistance. Uh, and they became friends, and, and Becker decided to adapt, uh, got the rights of the book and decided to adapt it. It turned out later, although Becker could not know that, that in fact Giovanni was a much more unsavory character than was believed and had not been a res in the resistance, but quite the opposite, had been a collaborator. Um, but nevertheless, he had taken part in that he had been a prisoner uh, in jail, trying to escape by digging um, a hole. And in the film itself, at the very beginning, you see a man who introduces himself uh, to say he was one of the participants and he is one of the actors in the film. So, in a sense, he represents the figure of José Giovanni. Um, he's called Jean Kerodi and he, um, he's one of those former prisoners. Um, so, um, and, and around him, Becker, um, put a number of actors who were not particularly well known at the time. Some have become better known later. Um, but he didn't want big stars, for example, like Gabin in Grisby, because he wanted to represent the story in a more authentic fashion. And Le Trou is, a, is an absolutely extraordinary film. It concentrates on uh, those prisoners in, in the cell, five of them. So four and then a new one arrives called Gaspar, who's going to be uh, play a very important role. And we see in, in very graphic detail their um, attempt at digging a tunnel. They dig a tunnel to reach um, the sewers. But at the end, the plan is foiled because uh, one of them, who's Gaspar, betrays. Um, and, and so it, it's, again, as in Grisby, a story of friendship, loyalty, and betrayal. Um, and told through um, the genre of the prison movie. And so what we see in the film is, is extremely intense because we are all the time with the prisoners in the cell and, and with those digging the tunnel uh, underground. And, and I think it's a film that concentrates more than any of the others, Becker's talent for sh concentrating on, on characters faces and gestures we really are with them um, digging through that incredibly hard um, rock and I read that apparently Becker had um, the the floor of, of the of the cell change into a harder piece of, of concrete so that it would be even harder for the for the prisoners to actually dig through that hole and so it's a kind of almost feel it you almost feel it physically. Um, and, and, and I find that whenever you watch the film, you, you forget that you are with um, criminals and kind of rather unsavory characters because um, it's such a, an intense human effort of these men and you, you really want them to escape. Gaspar, played by Marc Michel, is um, presented as a soft uh, kind of man both his physical traits, um, he's very nice looking, but it's kind of softer. The others are all very hard, um, are, are much tougher characters. And, and we, we're given to understand that it's Gaspar's softness. We, we learn through his dialogue with the others that, um, in fact, he's basically a ke um, kept by his, uh, his living off his woman. And clearly the other men despise that. Um, so it's partly a story about a kind of old-fashioned, hard-edged masculinity versus this kind of um, softer man. Um, and, and of course the softer man is, is um, criticized and despised by the others, and at the end when they find out what he's done, uh, one of them says, 
pauvre Gaspard, poor Gaspard. Um, but at the same time, I think the film is very complex because it shows that the other's hard edge masculinity has not, um, in fact, it's all it's done is land them into jail and they, they're not, all their great skills and their, their strength, their physical strength uh, in digging that tunnel in the end comes to nothing as well. So it's, it's a really interesting film in that respect because it's, it's a very masculine film, it's very male. There are no women. Um, we see a woman for about two minutes, barely. Um, so it's an entirely male film, um, and yet it, it's, a, it's quite a complex reflection on, on masculinity. Sadly, of course, it was Becker's last film because he died. He was very ill at the time of making it, and he died, in fact, just before the film came out. But it is a kind of culmination as well of, 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 of his interest in male characters in the second half of his career and, and um, the intensity of... Um, faces and gestures and also stories of friendship and betrayal and all this in, in the genre of a, a prison movie. Um, um, it's a film that's often compared to Renoir's films La Grande Illusion in which there's an important scene, a uh, series of scenes where the, the prisoners try to escape. I think it's also um, often compared um, to a, a more recent film um, at the time of Becker making Le Trou which was uh, Robert Bresson's film, A Man Escaped. To me, it's, 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 a, it's a very accomplished film, but then, you know, I also think that so is Casque d'Or, so is Antoine et Antoinette, so is uh, Touché par Grisby. So, um, uh, because Becker um, worked in different genres, I think um, it's difficult to find one film that sums up uh, what he's done, and, and it is tempting to think Le Trou is that one, because also it's his last film. Um, but it is certainly um, extremely accomplished um, and, and very sad, but kind of fitting tribute to, um, to the filmmaker.